We told you yesterday how Kwame Spearman is running for a seat on the Denver Public Schools Board of Education. He's the co-owner of the Tattered Cover Bookstore, a former mayoral candidate. So he's going to be running for Ayante Anderson's seat. Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovalesi talked to Anderson about the race. Was it an easy decision to run again? You know, it wasn't an easy decision at first. And the current vice president of the Denver Public School Board explained why. I talked to family and I think that we had come to the we had come to the reasoning of no, um, but I told them that we needed to finish the job. Ayante Anderson made headlines nearly four years ago when Denver voters elected a 21-year-old to the school board in a citywide race. On Monday, Kwame Spearman announced he was entering the race for the at-large seat, and today, Anderson welcomed others to get in. You now have a challenger in the at-large seat surprised by that? You know, honestly, I'm not surprised. I actually want more challengers for this seat. I want us to have a very diverse field of candidates for Denverites to be able to look and see um, my track record, but also be able to see other folks say he had a good idea. I'm just excited for this election, and I hope uh, that more candidates get into this race. Anderson also talked about the recent shooting at East High and its impact on the upcoming election. I hope that it plays a significant portion of this election because I think that we need to be the leader of safety across the state of Colorado. We have to remember that at the tragedy of East High School, the student that we lost died to suicide. Those deans will be forever changed, and I'm going to make sure that I listen to their voices to make sure that we change policy so that nobody else has to be put in that position again. However, making sure that we prioritize the mental health of our students. Anderson says his major accomplishments include making major strides to dismantle the school to prison pipeline and improving pay equity inside the district. In about six months, Denver voters will decide if Anderson returns for a second term. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.